One in three patients waiting for a lung transplant will die before a match is found. So when a donation became available, an Alberta woman was hoping it would be the lifeline she desperately needed. Except the lungs weren't perfect. But doctors at Edmonton's University of Alberta Hospital found a way to save the damaged organs. Here's Global Sulingo. Being the mother of twins is hard enough, but Karen Hamilton had to do it while her lungs were failing. I couldn't carry my girls and walk. I think going upstairs was difficult. Most of the times I just stayed home because um, I was quite tired. I needed to sleep at least 10, 12 hours a day. The 29-year-old had cystic fibrosis and needed a lung transplant. At first, doctors told her she could wait up to two years for a suitable donor. Yet three months later, a match became available. The problem was the lungs were thought to be too damaged. The donor had died of a massive blood clot lodging in the lungs. Um, traditionally, we would completely not consider that type of donor. But Dr. Jayan Nagendran's team decided to try to repair the lungs by placing them in the ex vivo lung perfusion device. The machine pumped blood and a common clot-busting drug through the organs. And over the course of two and a half hours... We were able to show that the lung function, by measuring how well it oxygenated by blood gases, went from being not acceptable at the beginning to being pretty good to being outstanding. Meanwhile, Karen and her husband had been called to the hospital, just in case the repair was successful. So that was a bit nerve-wracking, you know, like you either, you know, you're going to, you know, have this life-changing surgery. So I was very thankful when they came in the room and said, Kate, 10 minutes, you're into surgery. It's been about two months since her transplant. Karen says her life has changed dramatically. Even her morning routine is so much better. First thing I did when I woke up before, I had to inhale medication and cough for a half hour and a half. So someone always had to be there to get my girls up, change them and feed them. But now I could have breakfast with them and I've never had that. She knows she's lucky. One in three patients waiting for lungs dies before a match is found. And of all the lungs offered for donation, only one in four sets is usable. I know myself when I was waiting, you just think like, when, when is my time going to come? And this hopefully will help that time come a lot faster for a lot more people. Sulingo, Global News.